hey guys welcome back to medit academy so today we're gonna be doing a retouch video we're doing a medium type of retouch so i've been asked a lot of time to do a fully explained retouch video without any shortcuts since the first video i did was a retouch video but it was just a run over of what i do when i edit so this one is a fully explained video so let's start so once you drop your pictures in photoshop it opens this camera roll settings just like lightroom as you can see that's our just lightroom setup the whole functions are just like lightroom that's the camera roll so what you want to do when you open it you can see this picture is blown out highlights as you can see all over here all over here it's blown out so you just want to reduce the highlights let's do that use the highlights you can see it looks better now you can actually see the pose and everything once you've reduced the highlights I think that's it. That's all I do in camera roll. So let's open it up. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is remove the blemishes. That's the first thing you want to do. You don't want to skip this stage when you want to do retouch because it will mess up your final result. So what I do is put on the black and white filter. Just come over here and select black and white reduce the reds so you can properly see the blemishes so we can take this spot healing brush and just select the layer you want to remove the blemish so i'm just going to copy this background layer so that you can see the before and after so let's start to so just rub over the blemishes just like that it's simple very 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 simple just like that just like that this is like this before this after so you see it's very very simple don't worry about smudging it to be all fixed when you do the recharge so let's go over over the blemishes just like that okay you want to make sure you move everything so that you your final result will come very nice, very smooth. But yeah, fix it. Uh, it's before, it's after, it's before. So you can turn off the black and white layer. I think we did pretty, yeah, we did a pretty good job. We just need to clean up this part. Just take it again. Let's go over. over here. I think that's okay. I think that's okay. So I can leave the uh, black and white layer just turned off over there. We'll use it later. Just match the two little layers. I just wanted to show you the before and after so you can just match them now. It's fine. So I will just match the layers. So what you want to do is duplicate this layer three times. One, two. Oh, it's actually two times. So mix them three. And you want to turn off this upper layer. Zoom into your picture. I think we are way too soon. I think this is fine. Okay, go to filter. Oh, sorry, select the middle layer. So go filter, blur, Cajun blur. Okay. So once you open it, maybe your blur will be zero or whatever. So this part is very crucial. This one determines if your skin texture is gonna be rough or soft. This part. So what you want to do is increase the radius until your picture is a bit blur, not too blur that you can't see it. No, this be too much. This is too much. Not too less. So you just want a major part with such starting to just play out a bit. That's the part you really want. So you get used to it over time. It doesn't work the same for you. You can just choose the radius like I want two or three for every picture. It, they will be different if the picture is a portrait or full body it differs so let's see the radius for this one uh, I think this is 2.2 2.2 it's fine 2.2 it's fine so the trick is <coughs> if you see that 2 went for this one this one this one's like an almost a knee high picture so you know that for your other pictures radius 2.2 would work but for the full board one the 2.2 won't work it's probably gonna be less so the closer the picture the higher the radius the wider the picture the smaller the radius i don't know if you get me but 
it's more is more you as you practice it you get your edges okay so let's turn on this layer and go to select the top of layer image apply okay then go to background copy then subtract obvious when you open your your retouch for the first time i think you need to be like zero and i'm not sure what number it is but just for learning practices just leave this is two and this is 128 always when you set it at once it won't change it will be like two and 128 whatever the figure is but the next time you open it will be like this you won't have to change it it just works like this see just press ok so this is your texture so you notice when we said image apply oh, sorry we chose subtract that we are subtracting the texture layer and the color layer to become two different layers so now we have them separated this is the middle one that we blend out that's the color layer this one is the color layer then the top one is the texture layer so we have separated the layers into two okay i hope you are going with me okay so what you want to do is go, on, oh, go over here on the blend modes and select uh, it's linear light sorry wrong layer okay this top layer this is the one you want to change so go to linear light linear light it looks normal but we've actually did a lot but it just looks like the way we started but really worked so i'm gonna show you where the median part comes through okay so what you want to do is duplicate this layer again this middle layer this background layer and you want to go to filter noise media just testing the magic so just loading uh where is my median yeah the median so what you want to do is increase it until you no longer see any corners on this on the face increase it okay I think this this is okay. We can work with this. Uh, let's just reduce it a bit, like 55, uh, 53. Let's just type in 53. We can work with 53. Let's press OK. Median is just a powerful future. So for some machines, it's gonna be slow. For some machines, it's gonna be fast. But we can work with that. So once it loads up, it's like this. So what you wanna go is mask it. So go here and press Command I on Mac. On app on Windows, it's Control I. So you are just inventing, inventing the the mask. So what you wanna do? Just select the black the white brush okay let's select the white brush and just gonna brush over the skin that we want to touch okay i'm just gonna reduce the size of my brush okay when your brush is coming out like this it said that it's too big or it's too small or you've pressed the caps lock so you just press the caps lock again it will come to a circle Okay, so you just brush on the skin, brush on the skin, it's already working. This is not my favorite type of retouch, but it's easier and faster than the mixer brush. Now you will see when I do the mixer brush video. This one is a bit fast when you're on fast track. I see it's working, sorry, it's working, you just have to go over the skin. For the skin, see it's already doing magic. See, simple. It's coming out nice. It's a very simple technique. You want to just start seeing the results. See the results. It's nice. Okay. Over, over the skin. When I started retouching, I actually thought that people only retouched the face, but 
I soon to find out they retouched the whole body. So just go over the skin. Over the skin. Over the skin. You don't want to go cross over the lines to want to look nice. You just want to just do just close to it. So yes, just just you keep natural to it. Okay. Let's go over the skin. Let's go over the skin. Let's go over the skin. I will show you why I like the the mix of brush technique. I'm probably gonna do it. I just wanna show you all the types. Then I would lastly do the mixer brush one. This one. This one is a bit fast as you can see we're just heading over the skin. Hmm. It's coming out nice. It's not bad, it's coming out nice. Mm. The skin. Okay. It's coming out nice. So once I'm done, this the retouch thing is already done. It's retouched. It. We have did frequent separation just like that. It was fast. It was easy. Just like that. And I hope that you are following. So this is trick I learned. If you want to just make it a bit sharp, you just duplicate the texture layer. Just duplicate it to two. You have a sharp picture just like that. Just like that. Just like that. So what you wanna do is uh let's match this layers. Let's make you wanna fix up the background. I wanna show you a little trick of fixing the background. Oh before, after, before, after. <laughs> it's nice, right? Okay. So what you wanna do is fix the background. Did you see it is wrinkles, so we're gonna fix it up. Just a few easy steps. Okay. So if you have the 2022 Photoshop as me, what you want to do is go to select, then subject. I think the 2021 also works. I'm not sure, but the 2022 does a perfect record selection. So once you select, you just select this part. The selection to just go here and say inverse. So what you want to do is create another layer. Once it's selected, um, go to this part. Uh, no, just go there and say fill. Sorry, let me explain. I'm pressing the right click. Right click and say fill in color. It will open this eyedropper too. Just select the color close to the body. Then, see, just like that. Say okay. Voila. You have a seamless white background. This is not quite great. So what you want to do if you want to increase the light, just go to the curves layer. <laughs> Once the selection, I just did undo to select it again. Just go to curves and just push them up. Push them up. Nice white. Just like that. Simple as that. So we're going to scale our picture to fit Instagram go over here that's what the fit for Instagram is one by one or four by five but four by five is nicer for me so let's select four by five bang bang this is our result so tell me what you think in the comment section below and if you want me to make another video like this just tell me in the comments if you want me to make a certain topic just tell me so our next video will be on retouching using the mixer brush. Mixer brush is a bit complicated, but it keeps better results. So we're going to be doing that next. Thank you for supporting and please keep watching our videos.